Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, then welcome. Today's video is going to be a new one. I've never done a haul like this before. This is gonna be a haul of a few different bits I recently picked up from a few different, um, like, you know, the Asian Chinese websites which are really cheap, affordable clothing, like Zaful, Romway, Shein. Uh, there's a new one called Yoans that I've tried as well. So I picked up a few pieces and um, I've got some autumnal pieces and some summer pieces. So I'm going to start with like a summery haul and then in a couple of weeks time or whatever I'm going to then film the autumn bits that I've got. So, um, so yeah I thought I would just jump in with it being sort of the last of the summer, get as much of this summer sun that we can. Um, I've been away a couple of times as well recently this summer. So I'm still kind of like clinging on to those summer feelings but having said that I do love autumn and I do love that transition so I'm going to definitely film that separately, the autumnal pieces but for today I'm going to show you all the summery bits that I picked up, let me know if you have tried any of these websites yourself and what you think of them because I know there's a lot of hit and miss items, some of the quality that I got was good, some was really bad and um, the sizing is like really awkward so definitely recommend looking at the sizing charts. The first piece that I picked up is this bikini, this is from Zaful, this bikini and it is this like burnt orange kind of colour um, and it's like a bandeau top and a high waisted or high leg, high rise bottoms. Uh, the only thing is, is this unfortunately is too big for me, which is a real shame because I love this like burnt orange colour and also I just love the style of the bikini so what I think I'm going to have to do is get a different size because in terms of the quality of this I'm actually quite impressed with it. Um, it's just massive on me, it's just too big. I was trying to see if there's a way I could take it in myself, which there probably is if I I could probably work around it, so I might try that first, but if not, um, I'll definitely be getting another size, or another, yeah, another size. But yeah, that's the first piece, and this was $12.39, and as I say, I got this in a size large, probably could have done with a small or medium, but yeah. This next piece are these really cute little white shorts, it's in this like cheesecloth linen-y kind of material, with little pom-pom detailing and um, the drawstring is the only sort of negative that I have, it's really long and quite cheap feeling, if that makes sense. Having said that, I love these, I think they're really cute. I got these from Runway and these were $10.99, $10.99 and these were actually one size, so they're actually fairly small fitting, I'd say these would fit a 6 to 10. UK size. Um, if you're outside of that then I don't think these would fit you and as I said on the website that I got them from these were only one size so um, I'll leave all the links to all the products below if you are interested in checking them out then do have a look in the down box below, the description box. But yeah, um, I really like these and I'm really impressed with the quality. The next piece that I got is also from Runway and this is a really cute little lace top. It's very delicate, it's sheer as you can tell. So I pair this with like a little lace bralette. There's a bit of string there loose but that's just like standard with the prices that you pay in the, the shops that you're shopping on. But in terms of a, a little top and how it works and everything, I just think it's really cute with a little lace bralette underneath. I think uh, the quality is as expected if not a bit better, um, it's true to what the image is on the website. It was only one size so that is the only sort of downside, I'd say this fits me and I'm like an 8, 10 on the top, so, um, so yeah I would say this fits maybe between about a size 6 to a size 12 and um, it was only $5.99. Okay, this next one is from the brand called Yoans. It's, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think it's it's Yoans, Y-O-I-N-S. I'll leave again links below, but this is a really pretty off the shoulder dress in white with these little like pom-pom, well, it's not really pom-pom, it's like li little tassels on the sleeves. They're like bell sleeves as well. Uh, there's a drawstring around the middle, and again, those tassels are across the bottom as well. The off the shoulder style is like a love of mine, I really like it. 
And then what's really cute about this as well is it's got this cut out detailing here. It is a mesh panel, so it's not actually cut out. There is material there. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really pretty. I got it in a size medium. I'd say it's true to size. I'm, as I say, I'm a size 8 to 10 UK size. And um, yeah, this is a nice fit. And this cost me £14.49. This next piece was also from the same brand and it cost me £11.26. This is like an off the shoulder um, dress again with this like um, stretchy material. It's the same stretch across the sleeves as well, little cuff sleeves like that. And it's just straight all the way down. It's in like this dusky pink colour. Now I got this in a size large. Again, I was just looking at the sizing on each individual item and um, I should have got medium in this just because it's a little bit loose on the top and it's also quite not long on me but it is a bit longer than I'd have liked it still fits and I'll still wear it but I just think medium would have been a better fit that's the brand in case you're interested and again I'll leave links to everything below this next piece is was £17.72 again from the same brand and it's like this pink coloured uh, play suit, shorts at the bottom, it has a tie around the waist and it kind of sits these straps on your shoulders but then little cuffs here on the sleeves. So in terms of the style of this, love it, really really like it, I would um, really recommend it, the quality and everything, it's good thick quality. The only downside for me is that the colour match I think was slightly off. If I'd have known it would was going to come in this colour, I would never have bought it. I would have maybe bought a white or something like that. But the colour on the website was a real dusky pink, whereas this is quite, I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but it's quite like a baby pink, which is a real shame because, uh, again, the style and everything, I love it. And if it had been in white or something like that, I probably would have preferred to get it in that colour just had I have known it was coming in this colour. So that's one thing to look out for. If you like this pink, then perfect. This next top I absolutely love. This was from a company called Rose Gal, and it's this like bardo, bando style top. And it has these really cute little sleeve detailing and this little lace, oh not lace, and like a little tie at the front there. And it gapes kind of in the middle. I just love the fit of it. I love the quality of it. It is fairly sheer and because of that gape in the middle I don't think you can really get away with wearing anything underneath that's the only sort of downside that being said I'm comfortable enough once it's on to to wear this out so it's fine but if if you're perhaps not comfortable with with a going braless then that might be something that's like that I would, wouldn't recommend this top for you just because as I say it gapes in the middle um, but yeah, in terms of a top, I really like this. I think it's really cute. So I got this in a size medium and it cost me $10.30. Next up is another bikini. This one is just in like a plain black colour. It is just this plain black top. Kind of feels quite cheap, I'm not going to lie. And it's got these padding bits in the middle, but like they're just two circles here and here. So you can't remove them, which is a bit of a shame. But also, in terms of the actual top itself, I'd say it's well made. The only thing is, is again, this sizing is just off for me. I got it in a size large. I needed maybe even a small or a medium. And um, yeah, plain black top. And the bottoms, I don't know how they're meant to be worn. Like, I've tried these on myself. But look at that. I don't know if it's that way, that way, that way. No, it's not that way. It must be that way with that at the back. So it's kind of like a thong style, but the seam on it, I don't know if you can see, it's just really not well made, um, which is a real shame because on the website it looked really good. This was from a company called Rose Gal. It was $13.80. I don't know if I maybe just need to try this in a size that actually fits. The only thing is, is the bottoms aren't far off fitting because there's not much to them. But the top is just really, really big for me. I needed like probably two sizes smaller, so that is a shame. But yeah, for $13.80, I was hoping for like a standard basic bikini that I'd get a lot of wear out of. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to wear that one. 
Next up is a play suit from Yoen's again and this I got in a size large. I probably could have got away with a smaller size but having said that because of the fit of it, it, it does fit me fine. I mean it needs a good iron, I'm not going to lie. It is quite big actually but once you tie that drawstring around the middle quite tight it fits absolutely fine. So this is quite like a versatile piece in terms of sizing. If you're in between sizes and you're not sure which to go for, this is the sort of style that kind of fits no matter what. So it's got this tie on the um, arms as well there, so you can tighten the sleeves at the ends. And it's got this lace detailing around the front. It's a really low deep plunge V into the shorts and then again at the bottom of the shorts has that same sort of lace pattern, lace detailing. In terms of an actual outfit, I think that's a really nice piece. Now it's a bit pricier. This was £25.79, which I don't know. I I would probably be more inclined to use that £25 to spend like in a Zara or something like that to get a similar piece, which is ironed and pristine and I can try on a few different sizes and it not come all the way from China and take a couple of weeks, if you know what I mean. But having said that, because I put in a big order anyway, like the waiting time was irrelevant, I'd say the waiting time on all of these, you're looking between, from China to UK, you're looking from between about two to four weeks, I would say, uh, on average. I also didn't have to pay any import duties or anything like that. Um, I don't know if that was luck or not, but with all of these websites, I was fine. So yeah, I do really like that, I just don't know if it's a little bit pricier than what I would have hoped it to be, if that makes sense. This next set is a bikini, it's from Runway, it's $15.99 and if you've seen my recent Barbados vlog, which I'll leave below if you haven't, you'll have probably noticed me wearing this um, abroad, I really like it, it's a good quality make and everything. And now I got this in a large and it fits fine because of the, ta the way it ties around the neck and around the back, you're quite flexible, it's more for the bottoms and I would say I needed that large in the bottoms because again it ties on the side so that you are a bit flexible but the bottoms are a bit tighter and a bit smaller. Having said that, they're the perfect fit for me um, but I would just be careful with that sizing and um, maybe size up if not one, two sizes. It's black and white, this crochet material, my kind of colour and yeah, really like it. Another bikini you might have seen on that travel vlog is this one from Yoen's and I did show it briefly in the mirror and explain that it was from this brand and it's this high-waisted black bikini with this like gold detailing on the side and lacy detailing on the side and it is a bandeau matching top. I got this in a size medium, it's quite big. I could have gone with a small. Um, the top is quite like loose fitting and quite wide, which makes the the gap in the middle, that bit in the middle, quite open. So it's like you've got to be careful. It's not like a structured bandeau bikini that will stay there. It's a bit like awkward. But apart from that, like just be cautious of the sizing that you could probably size down in that one. And like I say, it was from Yoen's, and it was nine pounds sixty five pence. This next top is so cute. It's from a brand called Zaffel and it's this kind of cold shoulder, really sheer, loose fit, uh, white top with this lace detailing on the sleeves and across the bottom. And it's got this um, string running through it, which is that bit here at the top, but also carries through to the front. The only thing I would mention about this is that I feel that string is feels quite cheap. Um, it's also like the string itself is quite white and the chiffoning material is more of like an off-white, well, very slightly off-white, more creamy colour. So there is that like slight contrast between the string and the top, but you probably can't even notice it. So it's it's very minimal. This was $12.68 from Zaffel and again, it's the sort of top that I think I would get a lot of wear out of in the summer months and the warmer months with like a little um, nude strapless bra under it because it is very sheer, you would need something under it or maybe even like a pretty like lace bralette. This next piece was from Runway, it was $13.99, it came in one size only and it's this beach coverall in a white with crochet detailing on the sleeves and down the middle, it's got a really low plunge at the front, 
and um, it's quite short. That's the only sort of negative that I'd say about this is that it was a lot shorter than I'd have hoped it to be. I would have ideally preferred it to gone like halfway up my thighs, like above the knees. Um, but it's it's very short. That's the only downside that I'd say. Other than that, you know, I still wear it and I still I still really like it. And it did come in a few different colours as well. If you would perhaps prefer a colour to white but white for me is just a staple to go over any bikini so yeah I picked up that for holidays and I did wear it and I did really like it. This next one that I got is again another swimming costume it was from Rose Gal and it was $14.95 I love this swimming costume. It's a really, really high cut, which I love. I think it's so flattering to have that like high leg on a bikini or swimming costume. And what I really love about it as well is this little tie at the front, leaving a little keyhole cut out here. It's got some padding in as well, which feels quite sturdy. It's like this ribbed white material as well. So if you can see that, it's actually ribbed, um, which I just think adds that little bit of different texture detailing to it. I just think it's a really nice swimming costume. I feel comfortable enough that it's thick enough that it's not going to be see-through or anything like that with it being white. It's a bit like daunting buying a white or white bikini or swimming costume from these websites knowing that sometimes the quality is off just because if it went see-through in public that would just be the worst thing. But this is very thick and comfortable enough that I would be, I'd be fine with wearing it. So yeah, I really like that. Is it worth the money, $14.95? I'd say so. This next play suit is going to be quite hard to show on camera, so essentially it's this grey play suit. I'll just have to insert a clip of what it looks like on. But this is from a brand called Yoens again. It was £14.49, pence. ties around the middle, it's like this really pretty halter neck detailing or halter neck style. I got it in grey, it looked a lot lighter on the website than what it is in person, it's like a really dark grey. But other than that, it's you know, it is what it is, it fits really nice. I got it in a size UK 10, that's another good thing about Yoans is they have like these um, size chart conversions where you can see what size, you, where you can pick your country size, so yeah, really like that. This next piece that I got is slightly different, it's a really long dramatic maxi dress in this like satiny material now it is super super shiny this is from a brand called Shein it was 19 pounds and 23 pence which in terms of like a maxi dress that you can wear quite dressy like for a ball or something I think is brilliant value for money whether or not you'd want to wear it to the ball or perhaps you'd be wearing it more as like a summer dress I don't know but it's Again, this suit, you can see on camera how shiny it is, and I think it looks really nice with a tan, and the low back is really pretty. It's got these strap detailing, so, I mean, look how long this is. It's still going on. <laughs> um, so that strap is like, allows it to be a bit multi-way, and you can wear it a few different styles, depending on how your preference and how you want to wear it. But yeah, it's very heavy, like good quality in terms of you get a lot of material here. It's not really thin or sheer or anything like that. It's very thick and opaque. And again, it's just like, I, I don't know about the shininess. Is it, does it make it look cheap or does it like look nice on? I don't know, let me know below what you think. Okay, so this next top I'm really upset about because it's from Yoans again and I got it in a size XL, like God knows why I got it in that size. I don't know if it was all sold out of the smaller sizes or not, but um, it's this really pretty, like faux suede, dusky pink crop top. I absolutely loved this. I think it looked great on the model as well. And it was £17.72, which is quite pricey for just like a little bralette crop top thing. But the quality of it is so nice, but it's just too big for me. Like it's miles too big when I get it on. It's got this little zip detailing at the back to get it on and off. I don't need that, it just like literally falls off me. So I like it that much that I'm going to try and take it in or have someone change it, especially as it was like £17. Had it been the right size, I think this would have been my favourite piece out of everything. This next piece is a little top, a perfect little staple to have. It was only £6.42 from Yoans, and it's this, as you can see, white ribbed top yeah I just think it's a really pretty top I love this style where it's bandeau off the shoulders with the little arm cuff detailing and yeah crop top so pair this with like a maxi skirt on the beach 
or dress it up with like some jeans or something for like casual day to day wear and yeah for £6 odd, £6.42 I think it's a good piece to, to get your hands on. The last three pieces are all bikinis again from Yoans, this one again in a size large, it's too big for me. So that's the only thing I would say about Yoans is they're actually quite true to size. Um, it's this white, well it's more of a cream actually, ban not bandeau top, <laughs> I'm so used to saying bandeau top, but like just this plain little crop top and the bottoms are really thick high waisted so they're not as like thin and strappy as the other ones. Um, but it's the same material as that black one. Um, but yeah, I love the bottoms, love the top, but again, just too big. So I think I'm gonna just have to do like a bit of a DIY day of like taking things in because I like the quality of it and I like the materials and everything, but they're actually very big from Yoans, so just bear that in mind when you order from them. This also does not come off like the picture. I don't know if there was an error on their part or I'm missing something, but the one that I ordered was these bottoms, so that's fine. I got it in a size large as well, by the way, but these bottoms, that's fine. But the top wasn't like this. It was um, like cut here and tied, so it had like a long piece of string and it ties into like a knot in the middle. Which, having said that, I wonder if I could make that work, maybe. Um, maybe on the back, what I could do, if this is the back, I could cut that in the middle at the back and actually tie that, which would make it tighter and make it fit me. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But um, yeah, the, the picture, I'll try and insert a little picture of what it was meant to look like. So I'm down to the last two pieces, they are both bikinis and they are both also from Ewan's. So the first one which is this really pretty um, like brownie, <laughs> brownie orange <laughs> kind of colour, uh, tan, tan, it's like a good tan colour. So, so it is this bikini bottoms like this with um, the strap detailing at the side. The, this bikini was £12.87 and it'll be much easier to show you the little picture of what it's meant to look like, which it actually does, um, but just because off camera or like not on it's quite hard to show But because it's quite a strappy bikini, but essentially these straps come up the middle, it's straight across with straps up like normal. <laughs> This is such a bad description, but you'll see what I mean from the picture. It's a very strappy, stringy bikini that like ties around the middle a couple of times, and which I love that kind of style. I think it's probably not the most practical style for tan lines, but having said that, if you're wanting like a really nice strappy bikini for like a beach party, a pool party, something like that, then this is a really good um, bikini. Now, I would say that I got this in a large from Yoans, but it is it's on the small side so it fits me but um, I would definitely 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 size up with this one. There are a couple of different size options available so UK 0 to 2, UK 4 to 6, UK 8 to 10. Right so I got a UK 8 to 10 and it's small so um, if you're a usual 4 to 6 in UK I would probably say get the 8 to 10 anyway and if you're any bigger than a 10 unfortunately there isn't a size that will fit um, in this style. But in terms of a bikini for £12 that's really stringy and sexy, this is a good one. And then lastly, talking about sexy bikinis, when I insert this picture you'll know what I mean. This is a bit different for me because it's colourful, um, but it is this bikini here with this like kind of animal print style um, across the bottom and the edges with this like blue print across the middle of the top. It is padded as well. It's again another quite stringy bikini, so this is probably quite a good one for tan lines. And then the bottoms are very high cut, and it's, well, you'll see. Like, again, animal print. It's, it, would you say it's an animal print? Maybe like an Aztec print here, and then animal print on the side, so it's a very sexy bikini, this one. Especially the cut of it as well, with it being all the way up the leg, the way that it is. And it was £11.26. Um, and I got this in a UK 10 and I would say it's probably true to size. That is everything that I got in terms of this summer collection. I did get quite a few autumnal pieces which I'll show you in a different video. So if you're interested in seeing that one as well, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And um, 
if you turn on the notification you'll get notified of when I upload but just in case you're interested I do upload every Wednesday and Friday at 8 p.m. and Sundays at 11 a.m. so it's a new routine that I'm doing three day three videos a week which is kind of challenging alongside everything else I need to get done but let me know what you think of the three uploads a week is it too much is it too little do you want more do you want less um, and yeah, if you like these kind of videos, these like cheap China hit miss kind of um, haul videos, then let me know and don't forget to keep your eye out for the autumnal one. And um, yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you again next time. Bye guys. <coughs>